What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at all of the latest and the greatest news and information here in the Fortnite community. Of course, everything that we'll be going over throughout the rest of today's video has recently been released, so of course, let's go ahead and get started with today's video because we do have an absolute ton of information to go over, so to go ahead and and get started with the video. The very first newsworthy thing of today is the fact that Epic Games has officially vaulted and removed the Infinity Blade sword from Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't know about you guys, but this is something that I have been waiting for Epic Games to actually do. And of course, the Infinity Blade was added just a couple of days ago. And I think that this is the first time that something has been added into Fortnite and so quickly removed. And obviously, the removal of the Infinity Blade is largely due to the fact that the overwhelming majority of the Fortnite community just absolutely despised the sword or the Infinity Blade. And I think the Infinity Blade would have been a perfect item to have specific in a limited time mode. But the fact that players could use the sword in the default modes of being solos, duos, and squads really touched people the wrong way. So the overwhelming majority of the Fortnite community really, really despised the sword and everyone was super happy to see it actually be removed earlier today. And of course, not too long ago, Fortnite posted this over on Twitter. They said, hey folks, we messed up and rolled out the Infinity Blade overpowered without good counters, especially in the end game. The Infinity Blade has been vaulted and we are reevaluating our approach to mythic items. Thanks for calling us out on this. So of course, in a Reddit post that Fortnite had posted just the other day, they had mentioned that they were anticipating on keeping the Infinity Blade sword in Fortnite, but they were going to move it around a little bit and make some slight tweaks and some minor adjustments. However, with the outcry and the outrage that the community had, knowing that Fortnite was planning on keeping that sword in the game, they have actually decided to completely vault it and remove it from Fortnite Battle Royale. And as I said, the community is ecstatic. So of course, I do want you guys guys to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and feedbacks regarding the removal of the sword. Did you guys think it was a good item to have in Fortnite? Would you guys rather it be in a limited time mode as opposed to it being available in all of the regular modes? Or did you guys not really care? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So in order to determine if a collection of online games adheres to the country's guidelines, the Chinese government formed the Online Ethics Review Committee in early December. Various games then went under review by the committee to decide whether they are required to make changes to meet the guidelines or if they will be outright banned. Following the review, it was concluded that Fortnite will be prohibited due to blood and gore and vulgar content. Now, obviously, I'm not a Chinese government official, but I really don't know what they're thinking in regard to banning Fortnite because of blood, because of gore, and because of vulgar content. I would say that Fortnite Battle Royale is one of the least vulgar, least bloody, least gory shooting video games I have personally ever played. So, so I'm not too sure what the Chinese government thought process is behind banning and prohibiting people from playing Fortnite Battle Royale in China. But again, all to the Chinese government. But again, that's the Chinese government and I am grateful that here in the United States, the Fortnite community is strong as ever and that game definitely will not be banned here in the United States. But again, it's very, very interesting to see that in China, Fortnite has officially been banned and no one can play it. So moving on to another pretty interesting newsworthy topic in today's video, and that is in regard to one of the most famous and most well-known Fortnite leakers actually being shut down by Epic Games. That's right, guys. FNBR Leaks was reportedly told by Epic Games that they needed to close all of their social accounts and that they could no longer provide leaks to the Fortnite community. Now, there's a little bit of confusion as to why FNBR Leaks was banned and is no longer allowed to really just leak content to the Fortnite community. Community. A lot of people were under the assumption that because he was leaking content that he was banned and he was sent a cease and desist letter from the Epic Games attorneys and the Epic Games lawyers. However, FNBR Leaks shutdown was not actually because of him leaking, according to an Epic Games employee. So not too long ago, Mr. Popo TFS, who is a member over at Epic Games, he said, the owner of this account and others prompted and advertised the sale of game modification tools, which violated our terms of service, and this is not directly related to data mining or leaking. 
So according to what this Epic Games employee said, FNBR Leaks was actually promoting game-changing modification tools, which clearly violated the TOS that Epic Games had a layout for everyone to agree with. And obviously because he had agreed to play Fortnite, he had agreed to these TOSs, and he had agreed to all of these terms. So he was selling or he was promoting game modification tools, which were very clearly against the TOS as given out by Epic Games. So moving on to another super awesome thing, for today's video, this is in regard to weapon camos or weapon wraps. As you guys can see, we have a super awesome weapon camo wrap that looks exactly like the Omega skin. And again, this would be a super awesome implementation into the game if your character was also sort of mirrored on the weapon wrap. And again, I do think having the weapon wrap complement the way that your character or your skin looks would definitely be a super awesome addition. Moving on to the next newsworthy thing for today's video, this is just a suggestion I think a lot of people would love to see added into the game, and this is to add bushes with Christmas lights back into Battle Royale. For those of you who were playing Fortnite last December with that holiday or that Christmas update, you guys definitely remember when all of the bushes had Christmas lights on them, and I definitely think it would be a really nice and nostalgic feel to Fortnite Battle Royale if Epic Games decided to add bushes with lights on them back into the game. Moving on to yet another very interesting newsworthy topic for today's video, and it actually looks like found in the game files, we have the Love Ranger Winter Customization with a 3D model. Now for those of you who have been watching my past couple of videos here on my channel, you guys know that I have talked a lot about the winter camos or the winter white versions of a couple of key skins here in Fortnite. Well as you guys can see, we actually have some leaked 3D models of what the Love Ranger winter version or the winter skin customization option may potentially look like obviously this is not a complete version but of course it definitely looks interesting and it definitely confirms what a lot of people in the Fortnite community are thinking at the fact that we are going to be getting a couple of super awesome winter themed skins coming to the game regarding our pre-existing skins already in Fortnite. So continuing on to the final newsworthy topic of today's video this isn't anything new coming to Fortnite it's just a suggestion I think would be a super cool addition into the game so just the other day we had the introduction of a brand new Christmas skin being the slushy soldier and on the slushy soldier you guys can see that he has a couple of grenades well someone on reddit actually ex well well, someone on Reddit actually suggested that these grenades potentially be turned into a freeze grenade, and if you throw it at an enemy, it freezes the enemy for about two to three seconds. This would be a pretty awesome grenade and a very interesting item added into the game, and I think a lot of people would actually like to see it added into the game, just because it's sort of a combination between the boogie bomb and the chillers, which were obviously vaulted a couple of days ago. But of course, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback regarding a potential freeze grenade coming to the game. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and share all of this news that I was able to find in today's video. Before we do end, I wanted to go ahead and remind all of you guys that if you do plan on purchasing any skins in the Atom Shop, to make sure that you guys use my supporter creator code, SWIFTERS. If you guys use this code, make sure to take a picture of it and tweet it to me over on Twitter. I'll be sure to drop a heart and a retweet on your guys' photos. Regardless, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if if you're new. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.